I'm just watching Keselowski. I know there's only uh, eight laps to go, and I think he's backed it down a good bit, but not too far back there is that 19 car, Martin Truex, and he's made a big, big, he's cut a big uh, chunk out of that lead that Keselowski had. Last lap, Keselowski two tenths of a second slower than the second place car, and that would get him to the finish line about three or four tenths of a second ahead of Martin at that pace unless Martin could get well, up. And Martin has a couple of cars, one being Ricky Stenhouse Jr. that he's going to have to get past before he even gets in clean air to try to track down Keselowski. Three and a half tenths the difference on this lap. I do think that message has been sent to Keselowski about the tire issues on his teammates and he's going to be managing in his mirror where the second place runner of Mark Trucks Jr. is. Now, I don't think Martin can oh. catch him, but it's going to be darn close. Uh -oh. Some contact there between Eric Jones and Eric Elmerola coming off of turn two. That is seventh place. Boys, telling you. No, now Kozlowski, this lap, six tenths of a second slower than Truex. Telling he you. can't back it down that much no, and keep can't. the lead. He's got to have a problem, guys. Here is the radio of Martin Truex and team. And I'm preaching. I'm trying to get all the help I can. He's shaking his head, yeah, but obviously the driver ain't really laying the same message. Well, far back, he affects the next car. He's not racing anyone. Yeah, that's Martin. all about those lap cars. They're trying to get those lap cars out of the way so these guys can go at it and try to go for the win and battle amongst themselves. Five to go. Four more tents. It's and the be, lead is one second. It's going to be close. We get, I don't know what it is about Atlanta, but we always get these side-by-side -side drag races off turn four to the start-finish line. And I'm telling you, we're setting up for one right now. Yeah, tire management is so important at this racetrack because it's so abrasive. We get these long runs, especially late, start pushing the issue, trying to go faster. You're going to use up those tires a little bit more. Truex 2,800 quicker the last lap, 2,300 quicker this lap. And you see Joey Logano, but he is one lap down after that pit stop. I, I think Four to go. I, Mike, i got to believe that Kazowski maybe backed it down a little bit, knowing there's some guys that had a little bit of tire trouble. But uh, he better be just keep an eye on that mirror and mind that gap. Saw Roger Penske this morning in the garage area conferring with his teams. He's likely on the roof watching this unfold as Brad Keselowski. Boy, what a tough it out day for him with the lead with three to go, and it's just seven tenths now. <laughs> it is going to be close. That was a 23 to a 53 that time. Truex the fastest. Yeah, Truex really closed in. Gained a tenth just through that corner alone. Yeah, now he's going to start getting a little sniff. Now he's going to start getting a little bit of draft, and that could really, really help the 19 car. And Truex is there. He's just six car lengths back of Keselowski yeah, as they really come good. to One two to go. Throttle and put there three and four. Two to go here at the line. He's and within two. Here he comes. Boogity, just, boogity, boogity. I just really believe Keselowski's feeling some vibration or something in that right front that's forced him to back off. He goes to the low groove there through one and two. That's going to get a big run off the top for the 19 of Truex. Yeah, he should be side by side getting into three here pretty close. 19 is there. Two car lengths. Because that's going to have to drive a defensive line now. Coming to the white flag. That'll be one to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Oh, man, what a battle. Last lap at Atlanta. Three car lengths is the difference. Which way will he go? Which way will he go? He go that high? time, that lap, Kozlowski was faster. He goes back to the top in turn two. What? I, I love what Brad Kozlowski did right there. He went to the bottom the lap before, went to the top this time. Truex really didn't know which lane to pick down in one and two. And that was the problem. He didn't know if he's going to go high or go low, and it took his line away. There have been four last lap passes in Atlanta. Turn four. For the final time, Brad Keselowski is going to win the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Nice job, guys. How to manage a lead. Wow. Yep. What's the use of having a big lead if you don't use it? That's what I always say. <laughs> he used her up. <laughs> 28th career win for Keselowski. He last won in Las Vegas in September. Second victory at Atlanta. 
and the 60th career win for Brad with Team Penske. Oh, good job, Brad. Way to hang in there today. I'm proud of you, man. It's a great run. Breaking a tie with Indy 500 champion. You too, buddy. Trans Am <laughs> champion and Can-Am star, the great Mark Donahue. Today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco's fueling victories all season long. Brad's trademark move is having the American flag accompany him on his victory lap. And you know what, Mike? Uh, Bill French Jr. would be mighty happy with the outcome of that race. He had a Ford first, a Toyota second, and a Chevrolet third. He's had a pretty good day. And almost a side-by-side -side finish. Yeah, and almost. Kurt Busch third, Kevin Harvick fourth, Clint Boyer rounds out the top five. Then Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, pole sitter Eric Almirola, Chris Buescher, and Daniel Suarez, the top ten. We're going to find out how much rubber's left on those tires of Brad Keselowski. The rears, I'd say plenty. Just don't want to tear up the quarter panels. Pretty fitting. Folds of Honor. Sponsor in this race today and Brad Keselowski honoring those troops with that American flag. Yeah, he does that. Great job. Really nice. Three drivers have now won five races for Team Penske at Atlanta.